All right, this is a quick little video to show you an issue that some of you may have had after you set up your bucket server, as I've shown in my previous video. And about two or three days ago, Minecraft had the 1.8 update and the subsequent 1.81, 1.8.1 update, and your bucket server didn't work anymore. And you would go to the bucket web page, um, and 1060 is the latest version you saw, and that's what you were already running. Or maybe you looked at my video uh, after the 1.8 update came out, and this is the first time you tried to set up Bucket, you followed it, and your system comes up with an outdated server message. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and run the server. And this is the, the server that I set up in my previous videos. You can see right there it's running Bucket version 1060. So this was the latest, and still is the latest supported version, recommended version. Now, if we um, go ahead and take our Minecraft, you can see we're now on the on the 1.8. Uh, this is my test server here, and you can see I can't connect it. I get uh, into streams. Now, sometimes you may get um, uh, a, a message when you try to log into your server that says that it's uh, running out an outdated server. So, what we're going to do is we're going to fix this. So, let's go ahead and stop it. And let's go ahead and um, let's bring up our browser and let's go to the Bucket website. Now as you can see, when we go here to the Bucket website, their recommended build is still 1060. But that's only recommended for version 1.7.3. This version will not work with the latest Minecraft. Bucket hasn't come up with a version that they feel is stable yet to work with 1.8.1. But if you really want to get cutting edge and you want to run a beta, here's how. Now I do recommend you back up your uh, world, your server, before you do this just in case anything goes wrong because the bucket team definitely doesn't guarantee that you're going to uh, have a stable environment if you start running the beta. They only recommend using recommended builds. So you either have to run a standard Minecraft server with no bucket for now or wait until Bucket comes up with a recommended build or do what we're going to do here which is grab the latest beta. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the re recommended build and you can see here it comes up saying build 1060 but then what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to go back to the dev craft bucket main directory and you can see here here are a whole bunch of versions and right up here is the top one, 1135. That's the latest since it's the topmost one. Um, we're going to download it. Now you see these little blue icons. That tells you that it was successfully built. Never try to download anything from a failed build. So if I click on a failed build, you can see here I can, I can download. But this was a failed build, so it's going to be a bad file. So what we do is you come, to, again, we'll do it one more time come back to the main page, click on recommended build, go back to the dev craft bucket and then click on the the top one that is blue. So if this would have been a red one here that failed, do this one. But since this 1135 is the latest build as of September 17th, so we're going to click it and we're going to download it. Now remember, this is not a recommended build so there could be problems so back up your world so we're gonna wait for this download there we go and we're gonna go ahead and get that out of the way and let's put this in our server folder and we're gonna overwrite the old one let's go back to our server let's rerun it You can see now we're running 11.35. Now we have had some issues with, uh, you can see here the Citizens plugin crashed, which, you know, some of the plugins may or, not, may or may not work. So let's go ahead and bring up Minecraft multiplayer. You can see now here's our server, connect, and we're in. Now, since you can see that did not look very good, let's go ahead and stop the server. 
let's go into our plugins and we noticed that citizens did not uh, work so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click click on it once and then click on the name again and I'm just gonna rename it to dot ja and I'm gonna say yes yeah also if you do have spout turn it off disable it because spout craft does not work on the current version super perm bridge admin command and permission buckets I think are all fine I've been running those so let's rerun the server see if we get a nice clean clean boot up looking good so far super perms admin command everything's clean let's go back to our server and here we are everything's looking good let's try command command works fine so the, we can see the commands work fine can't break blocks because we're at spawn now a lot of you have asked me like how do I break blocks at spawn you have to be an op so if you want to make yourself an op go back to your console while it's running type op bell boss or you know, of course substitute your name you can see now you're now an op I can break blocks let's order something real quick here we go fly alright and you can see we're on the new mind ape one I'm sprinting alright so that's how easy it is to upgrade just be warned back up your server so what I recommend you do is just a simple way to back it up like here's my server hit copy hit paste and here is a copy of our server that's all you need to do you can use this one if you want it to or you could use this one but do that before but just remember download the latest beta if you're gonna go for it but before you start doing crazy if you're using citizens turn it off if you're using spout turn it off um, the super perms bridge admin command permissions bucket they all seem to work fine and other pu plugins will work fine I've used world edit and world guard um, so some work some don't so watch your boot up if you see see some that are failing just go ahead and turn them off until you can get newer versions that support uh, and most of the plugins are probably not going to be updated until there's a recommended build for 1.8 so you may have to wait a little while but if you want to get your server back up and you want to have at least some of your plugins running and get some control of your server with bucket that's how you do it